So this is finally the Blender 4.2 release, although everything back to 3.6 is also still supported. The two areas of focus of Machine Tools 1.10 are EV Next in Blender 4.2, in particular through the Shading Pie, and second the Asset Browser Tools, but there is plenty more. So let's run through the changes and additions of this release. As always, the changes are covered in the What's New section of the docs, and there is a comprehensive change log too. Assembly asset creation has been completely rewritten and now offers a much simpler UX, being more transparent and with less user choices to be made. The asset empty can now also be placed in the cursor. Thumbnails can be updated directly from the 3D view or from the asset browser. You can now remove an assembly along with its instance collection or the entire asset if it exists in the current blend file, either from the sidebar panel or the modes pie. Rendering of the asset thumbnail has been overhauled completely too and now supports all shading types, supports camera views and effects like depth of field, and supports cycles if that is chosen as the renderer. Framing of the asset happens automatically, wherever it is on the viewport. Disassembling an assembly will now ensure linked assets are made local and do so recursively, without making all linked data in the file local. Also, if there are rigid bodies contained they will be set up accordingly. The sidebar panels in both 3D view and asset browser now expose the instance collection name. Scaling of thumbnails in the file and asset browsers is now a modal operator by default, enabling very quick and fluid adjustments, and also only a single versus the previous two key maps. The bookmarks bar now has a pseudo bookmark for the local library, which shows assets in the current file. Moving on to EV Next in Blender 4.2, the shading pie has been updated to support it accordingly. If you feel this is overwhelming, know that most of the time you only need to adjust the presets at the top or the thickness property. Custom user presets for the ray trace settings will be found and exposed if you have set some of these up yourself. Shadow and AO passes are now exposed directly for quick access, and the shadow pass in particular can be very cool for a high impact graphic visual read. While there no longer is a bloom toggle in Blender 4.2, the shading pie still has it, and internally Bloom is now set up using the compositor. You can toggle and adjust dispersion too. The best part is, these work in cycles just the same now. There is also a volume toggle, which will set up a world volume for you and expose some of its properties. Note that with volume objects present, it will toggle their visibility instead, but you can still force a world volume too, by holding the shift key while toggling volumes. Blender 4.2 can now create shadows from HDRIs, and so you can toggle that from the shading pie as well. You can even soften them by increasing the sun angle. Furthermore, a number of generic world properties are now exposed, such as rotation. Easy HDRI node groups are supported too. The Smart Cam tool in the Views pie will now perfectly match the viewport. To achieve that, the render resolution ratio is adjusted to the view. If you don't want that, however, you can just turn it off in the add-on preferences. When in camera view, you can now also set up depth of field, and there is a new tool to create a depth of field focus object for you. Also, there's another tool to select a camera's existing focus object, even if it's hidden or not in local view. Finally, I've added fading HUD labels for these as well as for the Smart Cam and Next or previous Cam tools. In the Save Pie, purging can now be previewed by shift clicking on it, and purging will also get rid of empty collections. Cleaning out a blend file has been updated for 4.2 and generally been made more thorough. Finally, you can now define per object type root export folders. Due to popular demand, the Tools Pie brings back hard ops and box cutter support. In addition, the line annotation tool has been added and annotation placement can now be adjusted more quickly by exposing buttons instead of a drop-down list. There is an annotation visibility toggle now, which respects manually hidden annotation layers. Be aware that if you are sculpting in Blender 4.2 and you like to use the shading or views pies in sculpt mode, Blender now defines new key maps for visibility filtering that conflict with the default shading pie and views key maps. If such a conflict is detected, machine tools will point it out and offer a way to remap them. If you want a more in-depth look at the changes of this release, go to the What's New blog post in the docs, or for a complete list of all changes, check out the change log.
Also if you like this and haven't left a review on Gumroad or Blender Market yet, please consider doing so. Thanks.